What is up guys, Tava here, and behind me you can see the clubhouse I built when I was about 8 years old, of course inspired by the books of Beverly Cleary. Since I'm currently home quarantined for the foreseeable future, I thought I would take today, the next few days, or however long it takes to restore this 12 year old shack to its former glory. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so welcome to the clubhouse. As you can see, it currently looks like a uh, trap house in here, but we can fix that. At one point in my life, this was my prized possession, and you can clearly see why. I mean, it comes with hooks for a hammock, and upstairs with a ladder, as well as carpeted flooring, windows that open, light fixtures, as well as power outlets, and a giant opening in the wall that had a slide going out of it. Unfortunately, the slide is no more, but the opening is still there. So if I want to start fixing up this place, I think my first step is going to be clearing out all the webs, because there are a lot of spiders, and once I'm done cleaning this place, I think it's just time to make it look as cool as it possibly can. There are spiders and webs literally everywhere in here, it's crazy. I guess that makes sense when you abandon it for several years. So I think that's the majority of the big webs, there's still a lot of little things here but I will clean that up later. The next step I think is to remove all this siding that I put in because I had this brilliant idea a few years ago that if I put in siding and cover up the sides it would make it look better but the siding I used was like cardboard and didn't really make anything look better or help the design and insulation in any way whatsoever so I think the next step is to take that stuff down because it makes the space feel smaller and more cramped. Okay, so this is a lot nastier than I was expecting. There's a lot of stuff behind those as I guess you should expect so I think I'm gonna need some gloves and some more tools to get this stuff down safely. Old wasp remains number two. Spider nest and wasp nest number three. Okay, so as you can see, clearly making a little bit of progress here in the clubhouse. I got some lights installed here to make some more atmosphere, but besides that, not really sure on the touches I want to do in here, so right now I'm just like writing some stuff down, trying to organize and plan what I'm going to do in the future days to make this as nice as possible. One possibility I've been thinking of is mounting a projector like right here. I have a really little one and it can project on the wall across from it as long as I get something white that it can project onto, and I think that'd be super cool touch, especially if it add like couple speakers in the corners? I don't know, that sounds pretty cool to me. Also, I kind of like the barren wood look, but I might be refinishing it as well as maybe sanding some parts down to make it look even better. But yeah, so far I'm really happy with how the cleaning went, and there's still a lot of work to be done, but it's going pretty well. Okay, so I just got a projector hooked up inside of here, which is super cool, and it looks really good so far, although there is no white background, so it's still a little bit weird, but that will be pretty easy to fix. And I also have a pretty temporary speaker in here, hopefully gonna upgrade that at some point, but I'm kind of putting off the little things like cleaning up and sanding everything off 
but that's because we're gonna have some pretty cool features in here like this projector and speakers and cool lights so getting pretty excited about the remodel and I think it's going well. How I mounted the projector was there's actually a one quarter inch thread at the bottom of the projector and then I used this rotating head to attach it to so I can adjust the angle of the projector and then just attached it into the wood with another quarter inch screw. So pretty simple setup but it works really well. things I want to try and get done today, so we'll see how much I actually get done. I've been trying to clear off these little paint splotches here and all around this building, but it's really hard to do with a regular sander, it takes too much effort, so I think it's time that I bring out the electric sander. Okay, here goes. Alright, so I'm pretty excited about this. I just got this whole side refinished here, so I kind of blocked out any of the openings where things might come in, as well as getting this piece over here filled in, which was a huge gap, and lots of bugs and spiders and things could be getting inside of here, so blocked those things off, so that's great progress. Okay, this is crazy. I had this idea to string these lights all the way around the top of the building and they fit completely perfectly. I honestly thought that one strand would be way too short, but it fit like almost perfectly, which is really surprising and pretty awesome. Okay, so I 
just finished painting that piece of plywood which I'm going to use as the projector screen so the projector can project onto the wall and look good on the white. But I don't have a way to hang it yet which I'm trying to figure out now. I kind of want a way that I can have it against the wall but if I want to pull it up I can open that other window there. So I'm trying to think of a mechanism that can have that happen and right now I'm thinking of maybe door hinges or something like that so it can kind of rotate on those two and then go to a hanging position and then down to a viewing position. So we'll see what I can come up with. So I got this projector screen in which is great and it looks super good but I realized that somehow I managed to get it so either this one or this door are able to go up. So yeah that's kind of a fail I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I could raise this one up, bring these screws up to the top here and then maybe the bottom one will be able to reach the little dangly thing that attaches it at the top but I'm still kind of doubting that. So. We might be at a point where this outside door will become unusable, which would be kind of unfortunate because it's a nice way to like let air and light in, but we'll see what I can do about it. Behind me is the building I've been working on for about the past seven days. It's not perfect, but considering the current quarantine situation, I think I did a pretty good job with the resources that I had. And it's obviously a huge improvement from what it was before. The outside doesn't look very different, but the inside is almost completely changed. So come take a look inside. Yeah. 